Today, we are going to learn something new. For that, first let us read this sentence. No one knows where she goes every morning to get those roses. Now, if you read this line carefully, you will see that there is a certain sound which is being repeated. Look at the words no, knows, goes, those, roses. So in each of these, the vowel sound O is being repeated. So O from no, O from knows, go, it also has that sound O. Then you have O in those as well as roses. Now, this is a special feature which has a special name in English language. What is it called? It is called assonance. So, what is assonance? Well, assonance is the repetition of identical or similar vowel sounds in a sequence of nearby words. So, from here, what we get is repetition of identical or similar vowel sounds. So, important thing is the sound has to be of the vowel sound and the words should be nearby. So, whenever we come across such words which are placed nearby and have similar vowel sounds in them, then they are said to show assonance. Jack seldom gives his piano classes a miss. Now, in this sentence too, we can see gives his piano miss. These words have a certain vowel sound which is repeated and what is that? E gives his, then in piano, the word P, so that has a similar E sound, then miss. So, all these words are showing assonance. Now, it is important to note that a word can be made up of one or more than one vowel sound. So, any one of the sound which matches with the vowel sound of the nearby words is said to be showing assonance. So, it is not necessary that the entire word has to be formed of the same vowel. Like in miss, we have only one vowel sound, that is E. Even in gives and his, we have just the vowel sound E in them. But in piano, we have more than one vowel sound. Still, we are taking only this part, piano. So, P, that part is showing assonance with respect to the words gives, his and miss. Smoke rolls and scarves in the grove. Now in this sentence, smoke rolls and grove are showing assonance. So the O vowel sound in smoke is the same as that in rolls and it is the same in grove. So we see that this vowel sound O is being repeated in these three words in the same line and they are pretty close to each other. Hence, we can say that these words are showing assonance. He gives his harness bells a shake to ask if there is some mistake. Now, these are also lines from a poem in which we see the word gives and his are showing assonance. Both of them have the same vowel sound which is given by the vowel I in both these words. Also, if you notice, Harness, bells. So, this part, ness and bells, they have the same vowel sound. So, even harness and bells can be said to show assonance. Also, if we move on to the next line, we see if, is and miss of mistake have the same vowel sound, e. That is given by the vowel i. So, even these three words are said to show Assonance. Now, you might think that shake and mistake also have the same vowel sound as in shake and take. These two portions have the same vowel sound. So, they must also show assonance. No. 
we are not going to consider them as assonance. Why? Because being at the end of the lines, definitely they are rhyming words, but they are far from each other. So both of them are placed at the end of each line. So they have a long difference between them. We have learned that for assonance, the words should be nearby. So it is not just necessary that the words should rhyme. It is also important that they should come nearby to each other. Now that we have seen some of the examples of assonance, let us try to solve this exercise. Which words in the following line exhibit assonance? The line is, the guests are met, the feast is set. Now in this line, first let us look at the words carefully. The guests are met. Now you see, guests and met, both of them have the same vowel sound. Again, the feast is set. Once again, set has the same sound as met or as guests. So these three words are showing assonance. Now, it is important to note one thing very carefully. That is, it is not always necessary that the same vowel sound should come from the same vowel in the word. You see, in this word, the letters are U, E, but they are pronounced as A. So guests and met Though they are formed of different vowels in different words, but they are pronounced in a similar manner. So, you might often come across words which may have different vowels, but they are not necessarily pronounced differently. They may have the same vowel sound while they are pronounced. So, be very careful about such words. So, in this particular line, guests met and set are the three words that are showing assonance. So today we have learned about this special feature of English language that is called assonance and it is about the repetition of similar or identical vowel sounds in a sequence of nearby words. So now that you have learned assonance, you can look for more examples and see how many you can find out. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to get all learning resources as per ICSC, CBSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5000 amazing lectures across Maths, Science, English and Social Science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests. Performance analysis along with actionable feedback. Personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts. That's not all. You can also win amazing prizes like PlayStation, iPad, watches and many more along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So at Delta Step, learning is not just fun and easy, it is rewarding too. So register for free now.